Hey everybody, happy Friday. Kat Sievert here with another Friday devotion. I'm really excited about our October series talking about orange and the time that we have with our kids. Last week I went through beads and talked to you about from birth until graduation, there's approximately 936 weeks. I told you how many weeks that I have left with my kids, um, each of them being different, but also looking at those beads as a visual for us to realize that we need to make the most of the time we have now, knowing that we don't have that time forever. And so we're talking a lot about time, and last week was about weeks from birth until graduation. And this week I want to talk more about time in relation to years. But before I get into another visual, I want to ask a simple question of where do we learn the most about Christ or about Jesus and about his teachings? What would you say, whether you have kids or no kids, what would you say is the best way or where we learn about God? Now, some of you might say at home or at church, or really there's no right or wrong answer, but I do want to look at things a little bit differently. Um, When we talk about learning at church, that is absolutely true. And we know that through kids' time and the activities and the ministries and the scripture and the songs and the things that we do, we fully believe that kids learn about God. They can share stories, we have examples, and it is a great way for us to talk to kids and to learn about God. All true. However, I want to think of something a little bit differently. So for me, as I get to be in charge of kids' time and see these kids each week, in an average year, uh, this is a generous average, I think, but an average year, I see kids about 40 hours a year. 40 hours. With kids' time being one hour or other events, that is the amount of time that I get with kids. Now, parents get a very different number, and they get about 3,000 hours in a year with their children. Very big difference. Now, kids learn about God at church. Absolutely true. But the bigger influence in a kid's life is parents. Teachers, coaches, parents, all of these people get more time with kids than myself or the pastors or in a church. And so here's something for us to think about this Friday is we learn more about God by what people do more than what they say. So I teach my kids way more, good or bad, about God and his love for us by the things that I do, not on Sundays, just at, you know every day of the week. They learn more about God and his love for them by what I do than what I say. Now that's in a good way or in a bad way, right? If I listen to my kids and I love them and I forgive them and I hug them and we have all of these good moments, they learn about God's love through my relationship with them, right? We learn about our relationship with God kind of through our parents, really, specifically dads, but through our parents and those loving relationships. But also it could happen on the flip side if I'm not around or I don't listen or I'm on my phone or I ignore them. You name the reason I'm too busy If I'm too busy for my kids, what do those kids think that God is? Is God too busy? Does God hear them if their own parents do? Now, this is not a guilt trip kind of devotion. That's not what I'm getting at. But I want us to be intentional with the way that we act and how we love. Do people learn about God through us? Would people look at our lives and say they're different or they matter or they're intentional? Whatever that is, we tend to think that we learn about God through church and through religious leaders, and I love to help, but parents, grandparents, adults, you are the primary faith former. You teach kids the most about Christ. And so I get to come alongside and be a resource. One of those is God's word. We're going through the story, right? We have it in kids. We have it for preschool. We have it for grownups. If you have not picked one up, please do so. We have these available for you. Another way is through life groups and gathering with God's people. Get in a life group. Find ways to connect with others that you can share stories and do life together. So we're talking about time and uh, impact in learning about God. I get 40 hours, or the church does, versus parents, leaders, people in life. Let us be conscious and aware of our actions and how we get to, we get the joy through what we do to share God's love with others. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for today. God, thank you for the gift of time. Help us to remember that what we do matters. 
the way we treat people, the way that we act, uh, that we get to reflect your love through the things that we say and do. Uh, Jesus, we thank you for today and for all of the blessings that you give us. Help us to share your love with others. In Jesus' name, amen. Just a reminder, uh, another way we get to share God's love, uh, tomorrow we are having our painting service project. If you'd like to get more information, let us know. We'd love to have you join us. If not, then see you Sunday.